bringing it to you once again live and big in the beautiful city of Birmingham, Alabama, my hometown. I am so excited to be home for just this, you know, a little short break. Been on a short little break, but I'm here at the 2010 United Impact Holy Convocation with Bishop L. Spencer Smith. I had the pleasure of talking with Bishop last night. It was phenomenal. I had the chance to hang out a little bit with Bishop Johnny Guns. What's up, Bishop? Send you a little shout out there. So I'm just here just to continue. It's night two. We're going to continue to just find out more great information on this awesome, awesome Holy Convocation. So stay tuned. Don't you go nowhere. We're going to keep doing it live and big. The way how we do it over here at the One Truth Network. Stay tuned. And we're still kicking it live here at the Holy Convocation of the United Impact Church. Bishop Ellis Mr. Smith and Lady Smith, they are just wonderful, very wonderful man and woman of God. And actually what's going on now, Bishop's parents are here. They're here in the city. They came to the Holy Convocation to be here with Bishop. That is so wonderful. I know you're happy and excited, Bishop. I know you're going to enjoy your parents. Hope you do. Tonight I have with me a member from Impact Nation. She's been with the ministry for 10 years. I've been with the ministry for 12 years, actually. I um, joined the ministry when Bishop first arrived. Yeah. I went to a service. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed the service, and I have been there ever since. They are so kind. Um, they're such an example of what family is. He's a loving husband. She adores her husband. Their children are awesome, and I just thank God for them. About how much the convocation has affected you. Convocation is has been so awesome. Um, it's amazing how God deals with His people to encourage and impact people. Um, it, it's always amazing to me. God always has a way of bringing us to the place where we need to be. And this convocation has really is is bringing a lot of closure to a lot of things that have been going on in my life. The word has been coming um, last night um, dealing with Bishop Guns. oh my God, when he was admonishing us to get back into that prayer closet. Yeah. To get back into the prayer closet, back into that place. And this convocation is really bringing me back into that place and it's like, God, I just thank you. Wow, we are gonna have to call it a wrap here just for a moment. When it was getting good, y'all like that, I like that. I want to say thank you so much. So thank you so much. You're, You're with your girl, Miss Hans. Gonna keep doing it live and big here at the United Holy Convocation 2010 with Bishop L. Spencer Smith and Lady Smith. We love you all so much. So keep it live. Don't you go nowhere. Don't you dare touch that dial. We'll be back in a moment. It is his will that is. And it's your girl, Miss Hans, and we're back still kicking it live at the Holy Convocation of United Impact Nations. And actually, you can hear the background that Bishop Williams is up. Didn't catch his first name. Not sure what it is right now. I'll find out later. <laughs> this is the real life of Hans. Just want to say that too. Um, he's here. He's gonna. He's about to get ready to preach. Tanya Baker was just up. That sister is anointed to sing. Let me just say that now. She has an anointing on her life. And I'm here with one of the members of Impact Nation. Hi, are you? Tell me who are you first and then talk. we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, I'm Tanisha Tucker and I'm one of the elders here at the Impact House, which is one of the ministries. We have one we have two locations, Impact House and then Unity Fellowship in Tuscaloosa. So Okay. So how much has Bishop L. Spencer Smith's them ministry affected your life. It's changed my life, changed my life tremendously. Um, the first time I heard Bishop speak was in March 2004, and he didn't know me, I didn't know him, and he spoke a word into my life, and I put the word on the shelf, and then I suppose in a couple of months it came to pass, and it was a phenomenal word, and I followed him for a while. I was doing ministry elsewhere, and then this man of God kept coming up. And so eventually I realized that this would be my home. So talk 
about how much the Holy Convocation has affected you this weekend, what you have learned from it, and what you are going to gain from it. Okay, this is my third convocation, and I will tell you, each one changes your life in some way. Um, last night, Pastor Guns came, and he gave a powerful word, I mean an awesome word, Perfect. on prayer. Yes. And everybody's going back into the closet instead of coming out of the closet everybody's going back into the closet and then this morning um, pastor Jason Nelson was here and he spoke about worship and praise and he spoke about it in a different level in terms of covering and being in the presence and being in the right place at the right time to hear God speak with you and then Bishop Alan G Porter from Baltimore Maryland spoke to us about leadership and team leadership because you can't build a ministry all by yourself so he spoke with us about how to work with each other, how to unify between the two ministries, between anything that you do so that God receives the glory. If your team has 100%, you don't have to do all the work by yourself. I wish that most pastors would learn that, that you can't build a church by yourself. You can't do everything. It takes teamwork. And I think most of them don't understand that. And if they could get that down, we would have more better church. We have to get this elder into the service, but elder, give a few words of encouragement to somebody and then talk about why should someone come to the Holy Convocation? You should come to Holy Convocation if you want your life changed. Simply put, um, there are a lot of men and women of God and it's the uniqueness of Convocation that brings those people together to do something powerful, to, to do something powerful, to change people's lives. And that's what ministry should be about. We should manifest the kingdom of God right here on earth. And now, as I get ready to go, I would like to invite you to purchase the set. Um, there are messages on here from Bishop Smith, and he is talking about the city and taking the city and capturing it for God and doing what it is you need to do in your personal life so that you can grow up. Um, miss, of course, a message from B Pastor Guns, and uh, you will have Bishop Dr. Jerron Williams, Bishop Porter, um, just everybody, Bishop Ralph Dennis, get the message, get the CD, get the pack. Contact us at the Impact House, 3812 Old Jasper Highway. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elder. We know you have to get out of the service. God bless you. We'll be back. As you can see, I'm answering some of you all's Twitter questions and Facebook questions. Thank you so much for Facebooking me and Twittering me. Your girl has a new project out called The Real Life of Hans, The Journey, the Dr. Teresa Harrison story. You can get it now on the One Truth Network, the One TV.com. Be sure you get that product. That's what you all have been begging and Twittering me and Facebooking me for for months. Is the interview with Donnie. It's out on the website. It can be purchased today. Well, y'all, this Holy Convocation is about to end, and it end in a mighty, mighty way with Bishop Jerron Williams. He was awesome from Atlanta, Georgia. He was he was just awesome and fabulous. This Holy Convocation has been just great and awesome this week. I have enjoyed myself. Thank you, Bishop Smith, Lady Smith, for allowing me to come and be with you all this week. I thank you all so much. Um, I want to say to Bishop Smith and Lady Smith, stay encouraged, continue to go on, run your race. No one can run your race like you can. Con continue to go into the prayer closet, as Bishop Guns told us before. Continue to stand in that prayer closet and see greater things happening for the Impact Nation. But anyway, the journey, the Dr. Teresa Harrison story, can be purchased on the One Truth Network um, website. It's the OneTruthTV.com journey the dr Teresa harrison story behind the scenes the interview with donnie is on this one people whew, you all have been asking for this for months so please make sure you get this off the website also when you go to the website purchase a portrait of your girl the real life of hans it's already autographed Wait a second, have a little technical problems here. It's already autographed by your girl. If you want me to personally sign it, I would be happy to do that. I just need your name and some other things, but I would love to sign it for you in person. I hope to meet you someday in person. All of those of y'all who watch Hans House and who support the real life of Hans, I say thank you for these past 10 years. I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless each and every one of you all. We're going to call it a wrap here at the Holy Convocation. Be blessed, everybody.